Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's video, I want to share with you some statistics that I took from the report of 100 websites, the websites of the day. And here are some of the statistics of trends and things used on most of these websites. So if you are curious, what are the current trends in the award-winning websites? Keep watching. A few months ago, I started including each day a website, the URL and some statistic or some data about the website into this spreadsheet. And based on this, everything was calculated inside of a web page. Okay, so I took the data from this spreadsheet. Currently, there is 126 websites. So not 100, but 126 websites is part of the report. And here is the data extracted and shown in some better way than a spreadsheet. So I don't want to I don't want to give you a link to the spreadsheet. I want to give you a link to the page itself, which is under the video in the description. And one of the first trends that I looked at or I've seen on a lot of these websites is page transitions. OK, so 77 percent of websites that I've looked at is using page transitions to smoothen out the leaving and entering of new page. And of course, Barba.js is one of the popular libraries for page transitions on a project that you don't have a router and you can use Barba to create some smooth page transitions. Another library would be Highway.js, a popular library. And here is an example of a cool page transition and how can it help to soften out the leaving and entering of a new page. Ali, Ali two times is a great way to showcase how page transitions can help your brand stand out and how can how can you differentiate your page or your portfolio from anyone else. The next statistic or next trend or next number is 98% of award-winning websites are using JavaScript for animations. And I think this number is growing. And if you've been following my blog and my YouTube channel, you know that JavaScript is a very powerful way to get things moving. And currently 98% of the award-winning websites are using JavaScript. Okay, so how can JavaScript help you and why is JavaScript so popular when it comes to animations? Of course, it helps you to chain animations and trigger them at the right time. A little bit better than CSS. Of course, you always getting some performance hit when you're using JavaScript animations comparing to CSS animations, but the flexibility, the developer experience, the no headache of here is my animation when it finishes, do something else. So if you are trying to tell story, then definitely JavaScript animations will be much easier to implement. But that's not saying that you can't do the same thing with CSS, but just your style sheet will then explode with keyframes and you can't really reuse some logic in your style sheet. So definitely that's why I think JavaScript libraries or JavaScript animations are so popular these days, especially on some of these top award winning websites. Here is an example of rosemaggie.com where of course this infinite scrolling or infinite animation of the text happens using CSS animation because that's easy to achieve. There's no logic. There's no change of things. There's no chain of other tweens based on this. It's just one infinite linear animation, perfect for CSS animation. But anything to do with scroll position, for example, moving the image a little bit slower or faster than the scroll, then definitely for that JavaScript animations are useful. So this is an example where you can still use both CSS and JavaScript animations on your projects, but use them for the right things. Let's scroll down to the next section. We've got 67% of websites are using GreenSock. This is 67% of all the websites, not just the ones that are using JavaScript animations. That number would be a little bit higher. So 67%, almost seven out of 10 websites of the day are using GreenSock for the animations. And of course, I've already mentioned some of the big benefits and the GreenSock and the ecosystem of their plugins. 
can definitely help you to bring your flat design, static designs into a little bit more active or interactive experience. So green sock is another way how to spice up your designs and stand out from the crowd. Here is an example of another website using green sock for the animation, sophiedkf.com, where animations are triggered at the right time. Also, we've got page transitions. And that's where GreenSock and the ecosystem of plugins can help you achieve effects like this. Now let's go to the next section. After GreenSock, we have 61% are using smooth scrolling. Okay, so smooth scrolling is kind of a way of scrolling that is popular these days. And for example, Ali Ali is using it too. When you scroll down the animation or the, the slowing, the scrolling slows down. And this is again, JavaScript is using for this effect. Same thing on the Maggi Maggi. I said Maggi Maggi based on Ali Ali, but I didn't mean that. Maggi, rosemaggi.com. Sorry for that butchering of the name of the website. But again, two websites with smooth scrolling, Sophie DFK or DKF as well, smooth scrolling in action. Okay, so definitely smooth scrolling is very popular. 61% of websites are using it. And that brings me to the next point that is 98% of websites, of the popular websites are using scrolling animations. And by scrolling animations, I mean not just the smooth scrolling that we've looked at before, but anything that is triggered while you're scrolling. This could be as small as if the element comes into a view, then it fades in or things animate as you scroll down the page. So 98%, which is a very high number, are using some sort of scrolling animations triggers or scrolling animations effect. Scroll trigger, the new plugin from GreenSock is one way how you can achieve the same. By using scroll trigger, you're staying in the ecosystem of GreenSock and their other plugins, so you can be sure it all works nicely together. That is 98% of websites using scrolling animations. Here is an example of scrolling animations in action on the wonderlandamsterdam.com. The text is revealing line by line. Image is tilting as you scroll down. And another text effect are on this side as well. Very common to use text effects or reveal the text line by line or paragraph by paragraph. Definitely trendy these days. Now let's go to the last section that covers HTML5 Canvas. 56% of the award-winning websites are using HTML5 Canvas to create some 3D effects, 3D animations, 3D space. Sometimes is used just to render images and then move them because it's more performant than when the images are in a DOM and a React 3 Fiber is the new React module that makes this more possible, that makes it easier to implement 3D scenes. So definitely check out React 3 Fiber. That's one of my favorite ones. Read B, read.be is using a simple shape in the background that animates between two pages. So that effect is animating or happening behind the scenes on one canvas. And as you navigate between two pages, the elements on the canvas changing their positions. So that's where 3.js is used in action. Another example of 3.js in action, designer.incube.agency, simple job posting page that has a key or hero image on the canvas, big cube exploding into another cube with a different shader. And that's how you can use 3.js to add little spice to your pages too. Before we wrap it up, the last point here is 93% of websites using SVG for assets. Of course, with the popularity of Sketch and Figma, the design tools, then uh, people exporting it and optimizing the SVGs, minifying them through the SVG OMG. So definitely popularity on SVG is not a surprise to me. And that wraps it up.
here is the full view list or full list of all the websites included instead of browsing through the spreadsheets go to the sites overview and you should see all the websites used they are all links to the sites as well so if you just search for barba you should find a few examples of barba obviously gsub is on the page as well i didn't want to add some smart filters here awards has filters by categories and tags as well but if you want to see a quick overview of which websites were used in this breakdown then here it is and they all links to the relative sites as well and before by the time you're watching this there might be a few extra sites as well i try to maintain it and add stuff as the new websites of the day are announced so that is the overview of all the websites used in these 100 top websites deconstructed and if you are curious how some of these effects were created using greensock and scroll trigger check out the practical greensock where you will learn with me in a step-by-step -step tutorials how to use greensock and scroll trigger to create some cool interactive projects and that's it that officially wraps up the report of 126 websites deconstructed hopefully you found it useful take the stats for what they are hopefully they will help you to maybe learn something new maybe get inspired by some of the websites included in this report so you create something that stands out and shares your idea and let me know in the comments what do you think the current trends are did i miss something should something else be included in the report i'm very curious to hear from you in the comments and i'll see you in the next video until then, happy coding!